Greetings everyone. Manu Patra brings to you the news highlights of 12th December 2022. Starting with the Supreme Court. The Supreme Court while observing that army authorities are not treating women officers fairly in giving promotions has cautioned the authorities that it would pass preemptory order to ensure promotion of women army officers. The Apex Court has stayed the operation of the direction of NGT Eastern Zone Bench Kolkata to West Bengal government to ensure that public transport vehicles below BS4 are phased out within a period of 6 months. The Supreme Court while relying on the principles laid down in Manoj versus State of Madhya Pradesh has stayed the execution in two death penalty matters and directed psychological evaluation of the accused. The Supreme Court while observing that a female member of the scheduled tribe is not entitled to any right of survivorship under the provisions of Hindu Succession Act has urged the central government to consider whether it is necessary to bring a suitable amendment in this regard. The court has held that strict rules of evidence as applicable in a criminal trial are not applicable in motor accident compensation cases. News highlights from the high courts starting with the Bombay High Court. The Bombay High Court has held that Hudson's formula is widely accepted in construction contracts for computing losses and therefore the application of the same is not unreasonable. The Bombay High Court has granted bail to former Maharashtra Home Minister Anil Deshmukh in a case under the Prevention of Corruption Act regarding illegal gratification from bar owners and corruption in police transfers and posting in Maharashtra. News highlights from the Kerala High Court. The Kerala High Court has held that fixation of the minimum period of separation of 1 year under section 10A of the Divorce Act 1869 for filing divorce petition by mutual consent is violative of the fundamental rights and is unconstitutional the high court while observing that family courts have become another battleground has stated that union government should seriously consider having a uniform marriage code in india in order to promote the common welfare and good of spouses in matrimonial disputes news highlights from other high courts in the country the delhi high court has held that a challenge to the mandate of arbitrator on the ground of bias and a justifiable doubt with respect to the independence and impartiality cannot be raised under section 14 of the arbitration and conciliation act the karnataka high court has observed that mohammedan law does not recognize adoption and thus an agreement entered into between a hindu couple to give their unborn child in adoption to a muslim couple is not allowed The Calcutta High Court has held that rule of estoppel under section 116 of Evidence Act bars a tenant from denying the title of a landlord in respect of immovable property at the beginning of the tenancy during pendency of a license or sublease in respect of such immovable property. The Jammu and Kashmir and Ladakh High Court has held that mere recommendation by selection committee for enlarging wait list without there being a decision of government in accepting the said recommendation does not give any right on the concerned candidates to seek enlargement of the waiting list the madras high court has held that the revenue divisional officer which is a rent authority does not have the powers to order for recovery of possession as per the tamil nadu regulation of rights and responsibilities of landlords and tenants act 2017 this concludes the news for today thank you so much